productions like Drake and Josh, the Amanda Show, iCarly. His I resume is just stacked shows. with tons of shows I that I imagine weird. meant a lot to many of you growing up. And make no mistake, you meant a How lot dare. to the creator of these shows as well. Well, not so much you, but your Drink ASMR. Did. The creator of these shows is a monstrous foot fetishist, Dan Get in the Van Schneider. He is a vile, creepy, disgusting human being, and this has been known for years. However, I find this a new docu series just dropped, really diving into the subject matter and oh, putting a spotlight on it in a way that hasn't previously been explored. It's called Quiet on Set. Now, if you don't know what Dan looks like, here's a nice picture of nice. him here. He looks like he was made in the Dragon's Dogma 2 character creator. And Dan Schneider has become the face <laughs> of like Quiet on Set. Crazy. However, it actually explores more than that. It's like a whole deep look at all of the horrible things that were going on during these Nickelodeon productions. It's more than just Dan, but he obviously plays a central but role here. I think it's the creepy knowing he that he is shows. a creepy fuck. He fuck. was the head honcho of most of this. And he was well aware of some of these terrible and downright yeah. criminal I've things, heard some things that were going about on I always knew he had a weird foot fetish like within parenting. And, and the reason I mentioned the foot odd. fetishism off rip here that was is because that was one of the first I things called. that people really caught on to in the public eye. After Dan's glory days at Nickelodeon, people started to pick up on how odd it was that a lot of these children's shows had an emphasis on feet pretty frequently. I've only seen a, a tiny common bit. thread throughout a lot of these shows. Like Other than the dude who was apparently obsessed with a serial killer too? Displaying and this their guy, feet. He did have, like, and in 2013, <laughs> one of the shows Dan worked on, Sam and Cat, actually yes, ran a competition where games. kids were supposed to submit pictures of their feet to them. Like... That's weird. No matter how you spin it, that's a really weird thing to request that is from your weird. audience of children to take pictures of their feet for you. Definitely that's just downright creepy and wrong. I can't believe that tweet is still up, by the way, over a decade people? later, and no one thought to delete that. That is impressive. Huh? But anyway, people started to pick up on Dan's fixation with stompers, and it seemed like his fetish was bleeding into his work, and he was having the children unknowingly participate in it by having them display their feet. That's what it seemed to a lot of people, so... It was obviously very concerning, so people did more and more digging. They found more and more evidence of Dan being an awful piece of shit behind yep. the scenes with a lot of shady things going on there. And it just led to this reputation that people for years have known that Dan blows loads to toes Schneider is not a good person. You mean death? And now, death. Quiet on the Set has released and so much information has come out. Not just about Dan, but about that entire Nickelodeon workplace around these child stars. Arguably the largest piece of new information that dropped during this docuseries was the I, sexual abuse of Drake Bell by someone named Brian Peck. I saw a little Peck. bit about Drake Bell, yeah. So Brian Peck was a coach at Nickelodeon whom was sexually abusing... Wait, he impregnated a man by you bought at 13? I thought he was Drake like, Bell. only interested in And he was actually boys. convicted... In 2004, he spent 16 months a in the Slammer, and Jesus. then immediately upon release, landed a job with Disney. If that I doesn't know how this show just, just how going, rotten why would they to the keep core of this him? industry is, I don't know what will. There is deep-seated evil in Hollywood. I'm gonna move he chat went to jail for up, lewd acts with a minor. He is a sex offender, up. a convicted sex <laughs> offender, and he immediately got a Disney Channel job working on the sweet life of Zack and Cody? What the fuck? That's mind-bogglingly... Yeah, I don't know why they stick to the evil. same people. There's like, so like, many people out there that can do That's not just irresponsible. That's malicious. It's not like they just made some kind of mistake where they put a sex offender in a role where he works almost exclusively with children. Like they, it's not I'm like they made a whoops-a-daisy. They just happened to overlook that he's a sex offender. They knew. They would have to know. And they still hired him for that role regardless that's yep. scary that's I don't terrifying understand they're actively the enabling there. a fucking sex offender to potentially prey on more children drake also described that when he went into court brian peck had the support of some very powerful and familiar faces there were 41 character letters written to the judge asking for oh. leniency for brian peck 41 letters of 41. support I'm, I'm from so... industry personnel yeah, that we're, we're trying to, to get a lighter sentence for Brian Peck, even knowing that he is guilty of the crimes for which them. he is about to face the punishment, asking for a more generous sentence. These weren't just 41 pieces of toilet paper with nonsensical scribblings on it from nobodies. These were 41 
character letters that were submitted by industry personnel, some of whom were high up on the food chain. So these things carried weight. And they're advocating for someone who is guilty okay, of sexually abusing a child. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. they, they just viewed it as not a big deal, I guess. Uh, listen, that's Judge, thing, but I, I understand Brian Tech Why? diddled a child. Who at Nickelodeon hasn't? Are and you really going to exactly throw him away say, or put him away and throw away the key for that? Money? I'm what about like, season three of Drake and Josh? What actually matters here? Let's think this about is the same that. mindset. Anything like, for this money. Is crazy anything for class. It almost stops being Fuck surprising learning that Brian Peck landed a job at Disney right is, after his 16 months in prison for this crime. Because it seems like that entire industry just does not give a fuck about the safety of kids to begin with. So like I said, yeah, Quiet on Set isn't just about Dan that, Schneider like and all of the awful of things evil. that he has done. It's about how awful that entire industry itself is. But once again, Dan Schneider does still play God, a why is role in this docuseries, highlighting Disney. the Jesus bad Christ. workplace and environment that he would cultivate, the weird shit that would go on in like the writer's room and the way he'd treat some people, just a whole plethora of different bad stuff. And in response to all of this, Dan Schneider himself actually stepped out from the shadows, leaving his little gopher's hidey, hidey hole and addressing it head on in one of the most painfully scripted and staged apology video interviews I've ever seen. Hey, it's Boogie. I play T-Bow on Nickelodeon's iCarly. I got a chance to watch the Quiet On Set program and I reached out to Dan to see if it was something that he'd be willing to discuss. Oh, that's the obviously their shady the shit, but what? I don't, Sam, I don't think. I'm okay. I'm okay. I don't yeah. think saying sh shady shit is enough for me. I need to, I want to know the why. Yeah, I could put a blanket statement. It's shady. But what, other than money? But there's a, at least a hundred thousands of people that could do Dan Snyder's job. Why? It was not conducted it? by a professional. It's conducted by a former actor in one of Dan Schneider's shows. And he is not equipped to handle something like this. This is the biggest load of baloney. Like, this is just some straight-up fucking malarkey. There is no pushback from Boogie on anything in this interview at all. It's not just enough for me. strategic That's not enough softballs of designed like, my point is to rich give assholes, Dan Schneider yeah, some kind of sympathetic PR win. For any other reason other than I didn't want to scandal? Where he comes out of this looking better. Where he comes out of this, like, not the bad guy. It's so... I think, honestly, they thought it would disrupt their pipeline of children for their shows to slave labor, honestly, and it would cost them tons of money. Honestly, I think if they knew, if they confronted it, they would get into, they would get, like, Disney scandal, and they would have a, their pipeline of fresh new talents to pump for cash and pay, underpay would be ruined. Selfish, but I honestly think it probably had more than that. Like, that's what I mean by why. Deplorable that they'd even try something like this with a straight face. I think it is extremely transparent what this is. And I'm happy to say pretty much everyone saw straight through this. That this too. did not Nepposition. Be... What nepo nepo stuff had to do with this? Dan Schneider, I feel like he is such a nepo dunk, liar. I think he was expecting it to. This did not make him look any better in the public side. It actually just made it look even more sinister that he was able to it seems pre-prepare this interview to mitigate the potential fallout from the docu series airing. Tons of money to Let's collect lots of cards and gotcha words. Exactly. If I had tons of money, the same. If I was like a millionaire like that, I would buy like affordable housing that you could rent for cheap. Do something kind for the universe. Don't be a piece of shit. Is it really that hard? Okay. Watching the content yesterday, it was disturbing. It was wrong. It was wrong that I ever put anybody in that position. It was the wrong thing to do. I'd never do it today. I'm embarrassed that I did it then. I apologize I bet he to is. anybody that I ever put in that situation. Dan, talk to me about the writer's room. From what I saw, not cool. No, no. And I, I don't mean to cut you off, but if I can yeah. cut right to the chase, let me just say, no writer should ever feel uncomfortable in any writer's room, ever. That is a thing, too. Like, uh... More shady people hire shady people. Like the 41 people that made excuses for this guy were probably just Period, as freaking shady. No excuses. It starts with what's supposed to be this moment of taking accountability. Dan Schneider is just point blank apologizing and, you know, holding himself accountable for the sins of the past type vibe. Except he's really not. Like, these aren't things that you just, like, exactly. hand not. wave away with, like, a simple apology. A lot of what was reported is like unforgivable bad shit see like, this is the this is the thing i agree with some things are completely unforgivable 
And this is an argument done in anime and storytelling in general that everything can be forgiven. But I believe I agree with Charlie here that some things are just can't be forgiven. There is no redemption. No arc. way of apologizing for the things that Dan Schneider has done and also been accused of. So it's just it it's it feels so fucking insincere. And Dan Schneider got away with it, and it seems will continue to get away with it. So he loses nothing by doing uh, something yeah, like this. Yeah, we're waiting to see which if we can Which makes it frustrating to see him parade around because pretending my next like appointment he didn't show up. cares now all of a sudden. Everything can- you think Dan Schneider can be redeemed? Like, seriously? <laughs> nah, I think it's a naive approach of people hoping they themselves, if they do bad things, will always have a chance of forgiveness and redemption. Which is just not true. Like, it's extremely easy for him to just be like, oh, yeah, that was bad. Yes. I, I feel uh, bad for I that. Oh, what a regret. I don't, think so. yep. I don't know good. how they like, would even just, begin I, I to want, redeem themselves. I would have liked if the interviewer was someone that would legitimately dive into a lot of these things and actually press him on a lot of these things. This interview never even addresses the things that people want to hear from Dan on, such as like the sexualization of the children in those shows. Even outside of all the foot stuff, Dan included some very inappropriate things in his program. I don't know, I know, I, forgiveness in himself or not? No, I just dislike that it was all about farming. The shit that he did. That's not even close. Like any l rich dickhead can donate to charities. It doesn't actually make any change. I think that's not even close to how someone would even begin to redeem themselves. Even if he donated every dollar he had, it would do nothing for the people he hurt. Like, and also, does he actually stop hurting people? Well, that is the real question. Programs such as Ariana Grande milking a potato. And then another scene with her getting like splashed with water and shit. Like all of it was Yeah, but he's still not redeemed. It's a step in the right and direction, seems but he's to not sexualized redeemed. That's the point. Like the child you, actors and actresses you, they can't in this production. Actually get and that was never even brought up in they this interview. They can be less of a So this interview piece of shit just it doesn't have any life, real substance to it. Redeemed. It is legitimately just a scripted PR play from Dan. I cut it. I want my shows to be popular. I want everyone to like the more people who like the shows, the happier I am. Yeah. So if there's anything in the show that needs to be cut because it's upsetting somebody, let's cut it. So I think it's big for you to That's my point. I don't think there's enough time. He's like, what, 50? I don't think okay, if you molest a child, you are never getting redeemed. Sorry. You have the marker of you're a piece of shit your entire life. Soz, not soz. Hot take. Hot take. say with your work yeah mm -hmm. if it's viewed as that today you don't have a problem cut it cut because it's upsetting somebody let's okay, let's go back i cut it i want my shows to be popular i want everyone to like the more people who like the shows the happier i am yeah so if there's anything in the show that needs to be cut because it's upsetting somebody let's cut it so cut i think it? it's big for you to say with your work mm -hmm. if it's viewed as that today you don't have a problem cut it cut, cut it, it. I mean, that's a solution. The, the last thing I want to ever do yeah. is put any content in a show that's going to upset Cut my it? audience okay, and I, make them want to turn off the TV. Why is this the part you meant, or did I miss a different part? This was him addressing a question that Boogie asked about, like, inappropriate jokes in there without getting too deep into the weeds, just a broad subject of some of these jokes have aged poorly and people look at them as inappropriate for a child audience. How do you respond? The most softball way of asking this question, mind Not this you. Part? Okay. And his response was, important. "Cut it. Just get rid of it. I don't want it in the show. If it's aged bad and it makes people uncomfortable, or you know this and that, cut it." And Boogie's like patting him on the back for it, like, "Oh my goodness, wow, that's so benevolent. That, what a great solution. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> what the fuck? It's so easy for him to say that now, but it doesn't take away the fact that you filmed it. If you cut Ariana Grande milking a potato type shit, if you cut." Some of the foot stuff that you got away with some of this shit. It doesn't change the fact that you still had the child actors and actresses doing that shit and were sexualizing yeah, them. Yeah, can't It undo. still happened. That's still bad. Cutting it from the final product doesn't erase what you did. It's it's it's, it's so frustrating that there's no pushback on any of this in the interview. He just gets to let him say his piece and then get applaud applause for it. It's it's so Do stupid. That money trumps over everything. Yep. Yeah. And people are way more willing to make excuses for others because it means someone might make an excuse for themselves. From Jack Black saying, F it, make a Tropic Thunder sequel. Uh, what do you mean? 
talked and he told me what had happened, I was more devastated by that than anything that ever happened to me in my career thus far. Mm -hmm. 41 of those people wrote letters for Peck, character letters, praising him for who he was and asking for leniency, and they knew that he was guilty. They knew he had confessed to some degree, mm -hmm. and they still did this. But Drake's mom, a lovely woman, who I stay in contact with this Like well, he says that, but everyone did it for him. Time, and she said, would you help me with my speech for the judge? And I said, of course. And I did. Dan Schneider's fishing for the Nickelodeon's Kid Choice Award for the best fake crying. It feels super forced and super insincere. Him Especially when you hear what Drake says about it. Like what he does, it's up like, while what talking the fuck? about this story. This is him talking about the Drake and Brian Peck case where he mentions 41 people wrote those letters yeah. and it baffled him. And then Drake's mom actually asked him to help her stuff. write her piece, which he did. And that leads me to a question of, if you knew all this, why didn't you himself. back up Drake Bell? The, the way it's described, Brian Peck had all of these people in his corner, but Drake really only had his mom and his brother. Why weren't you more involved then? Like, I, I imagine that could have been extraordinarily helpful. But regardless, this interview doesn't do anything to change exactly. my perception of Dan Schneider or uh, anyone else's, really, I imagine, because it's just, it's still nothing. This isn't really an interview. It's just a PR piece. Isn't Dan Disguised Schneider, like, interview. say a bunch of crazy it's shit? It's just, it's just more despicable garbage here. But yeah, anyway, I wanted to yeah, talk about this like a little a bit. Again, the docuseries is called Quiet on Set. It's out now. And uh, yeah, just kind of wanted to go over it a little bit. That's it. So, yeah. I feel bad with them, honestly. Like, <laughs> I, I hate, like, child acting a lot because there's just, like, many layers of failure of taking care of children in it. And it's, I don't know, disgusting to me. I also think the idea that, like, obviously this man is not really ups. There is no empathy for all the people he hurt, I feel. Head's newest video. I don't know, I still have a headache from her last video. <laughs> ah, we got some time. Let's have a look. Shoot. Is it? Is it funny? Okay, well, let's check on the Tony to see where look it's at going. Look This ain't it, Chief. Darn same I haven't heard yet. Of what? I don't intend for them to. What? I'm so lost. Oh. The deck error. They don't need to. It's fine. Like, I fucked up, and it didn't even change the results of the game. Like, the thermic habit doesn't even matter. Wait. Okay. Look at this. You do like a top cut spreadsheet, like something like that. That would be cool. Okay, but from what I've seen from the games, the most popular decks right now, at least in, in the new Rivals events, is Mew and what the fuck is this? Magic Specter adjacent uh, decks. Like currently, maybe. the top four. Devil is still going on about around, how so he got in trouble for yet. like. Oh yeah. Are in trouble like fast what, magic, what is happening? Lathy, who is on what is Lathy on again? Mill. Uh, I think. Wait, hold on. No, Lathy's on Shimeji. I think we're gonna take uh, ourselves Lucy on Gody and Jenny on Pacifist. So I wouldn't say okay, that. We're at gonna all. go. Um, the, hey, each shiny, deck is welcome in. That's awkward. <laughs> okay, let's go to just chatting, and if they want us to play, we'll go, go back. We'll go back, but I they haven't mentioned it. Yeah. I don't even know. I'm confused. I don't even know what's happening there. But yes! And we have two, almost two hours left of Summerthon! Yay! Do, 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 do. Let's put our desk back on. Yeah, honestly, I'm confused. You're confused. We're all confused. 
can is not. Ah! Okay, we'll have a look at what. We'll go straight to like see what's suggested. Okay, we'll go to shoe on heads to see if the title interests us. How to become emotionless. This is what I need, baby. We're just gonna see. You can put suggestions in media if you guys want. get it up oh my god i'm gonna find a couple things of what's suggested on our main things but if you have any suggestions for watching videos please put it in media with link the dumbest person ever i too love dumb people they're my bread and butter Nux, that fucking bunny suit oh my god Who is okay, though? Who is okay? <laughs> Wait, this isn't even my right scuff channel. This is my scuff suggestion. Uh, if it's over, like, 20 minutes, I reserve the right to leave at any time. <laughs> I also reserve the right to not watch anything, obviously. In defense of the food Joshi. Oh, nice, they're defending me. Perfect. <laughs> uh, in media, please, and thank you. Who fire noodles? Your own channels? I know it, that happens a lot, but that's how I know I'm choking people's feed. Hello, friends, and happy. I heard you the first time, dummy. God damn it. 129 ways, 25 minutes long! And I've, I've, I've watched some of this. The Rise of Female Loneliness. The Rise of the AI Girlfriend. Isn't that just the one where she... Yeah, what does Dan Snyder being Jewish has to do anything? Isn't that just the one where she says, does 1950s, ah. like, stuff? If they're very... Yeah, I've watched your this. Children. Stand in a corner and cry... I didn't particularly find it very funny. It's like, meh. It's fine. Yeah, that's fine. It's like, meh. Yeah, that's the rise of female loneliness. We watched that the other day with uh, the rail, uh, male loneliness, which is mainly a continuation of male loneliness with uh, the 50s dating. <laughs> She just stated things that were around. She didn't actually come up with any solutions or talk about them in depth. She just reacted to content online, preterring to things and saying, like, oh, this shows men are sad or something. But, like, but can you go and actually talk about male loneliness and not just reacting to content online, talking about people, men in a certain way? I, I just didn't find the video very informative and her points are very a nothing sandwich. You know what I mean? Like, she had a grasp of an idea, but didn't really actually say much. Yeah, and that's what I say about that. I'm talking about male loneliness, too. <laughs> she just reiterated popular talking points from men without actually giving an opinion to panda honestly she didn't actually give in a pit proper like a, a proper solution to anything or a discussion into the topic she just reacted to people being mean to men and said yeah this is why men are lonely like because people are mean to them without actually talking about it uh, how 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 has it as society as a collective failed against men Yeah, to react but discuss. And that's my point with it. I there's nothing wrong with her video, but I would just say it didn't actually like put the loneliness between demographics, but loneliness is just loneliness and affects both sides. Exactly. I would agree with that. It affects both sides. And I do agree, male loneliness 
is on the rise. Is this in, so say with female loneliness, say with female virginity and male virginity. But the main thing is, it's actually a complex discussion. And putting it down to people on the internet are mean to men and don't respect their opinions isn't actually a conducive conversation into male loneliness. It's just another thing pandering to some people on the internet without actually seriously talking about the topic in any hope to actually help men. And that is another the, the problem with it, I find, is that I think uh, that content isn't actually trying to help in any way. Just like a lot of the alpha male podcasts, they're not actually set up to help men. It's just to say, yeah, this sucks for you, right? It's like, oh yeah, but how do I... Why Why does it suck? Why am I lonely? I don't know, bitch. Work it out. She will search a solution for your problem. But I think it's like a multi-level thing. But like social media is fine, but also ruins humanity. I don't think social media is the only thing that ruined humanity. I think lack of raising children, like as in actually being present in your child's life, lack of community for everyone, no actual like monitoring or is balance in our lives a lot of people work too much don't go out enough they we have very little social circles or connection to people vtubers ruin humanity exactly there is it's a complex discussion that actually is a lot of things conducing to this but it's always put into a them versus me argument a lot of people want to say women ruined males life and made them lonely Women want to say men ruin their lives, made them lonely. It's not. It's actually very complex why people are lonely. Just watch no no stuff. I would say porn addiction is one of the can be one of the things, but I don't want to pr break down humanity into a. Well, if the kids just put down the porn, they'll be fine. <laughs> there is a lot of levels. I think a big conduce factor to why men are lonely is a lot of men don't have a lot of male friends anymore they don't have a social circle to to be social with men are social creatures in the same way it's not about sex it's not about too much internet i think that's a huge factor yes yeah, some people some people are i don't think that's the main reason they're lonely porn ruins sex life that doesn't make you lonely that's why I think raising your kids to be balanced human beings is correct. Success as part of this. Yes, exactly. That's why I do agree with some statements she made about a lot of things are made to just pander to the loneliness, not to actually help with loneliness. We are not animals, Del. Well, yes, we are all animals. <laughs> we are, let me turn down the video sounds. But we are all animals. It's the same. Women are social creatures too. But women tend to have better social networks, but women tend to be horribly lonely when they don't have a social network too. Text the same. It's just women tend to maintain their social circles better and have deeper emotional connections where they can talk about their feelings and their problems. Men, because of like different standards, have been taught not to share. And so they are missing out on that. I'm trying to find the audio. Turn that down and see. Not gonna lie. <laughs> we kind of are, not gonna lie. But that's the it thing. Really I, I think you're looking time. at one concept. I, I think learning, not being put into porn and all that stuff, but that has most effects on a sexual nature in your relationships and standards in a relationship. I don't think relationships are the only factor of why men are lonely or why the world is just getting lonelier. Because if you take away the men are lonely, a big thing with these things is pointing out that everyone is lonelier than they were 20 years ago. Yeah, so we're reacting to content as we wait this for this tawny stuff to work out. Because we have out. easy, unlimited access. Okay, let's see. Oh, one sec. There's a final rant. No, okay. I'm supposed to be on table five with Snowy. Let's see if they actually show up. Yeah, okay. We have to actually play a duel, my bad. Are they actually showed up to this one? Um, ten. Yes, we're good to go. Okay, just because my other person ditched, I will still go. Okay, we'll react to content as soon as we're done with this tawny duel and lose. I just wanted- this is why I was keeping up. I didn't want to ditch on them. You know what I mean? Like, the, the other player ditched on me, they left, but... 
I was just like, I will not ditch. I will try and make it to the end. So we're gonna finish the duel. We'll finish the tournament. We're not quitters. <laughs> social skills as they watch the as they go out. I don't think porn ruins all social skills. It's the withdrawal from society because most people don't like society as it is. They work too much, praise too little, and they don't have enough social thing to keep them going. Okay, we're gonna sponsor some of the monster. Yes, I won by default! <laughs> Nani? Imagine? Look, we actually got our spiders out! Jesus! I think moderation is key fuck in everything moderation guys it's true with food it's good with exercise it's true with everything moderation porn is not particularly bad you just need to be moderate jerk off to your imagination sometimes i fucked it no <laughs> moderation is key <laughs> Not quietly into the night. We will duel until mm, duly no more. This is something I don't know. Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't exist. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with whacking your meat, guys. It's perfectly healthy. <laughs> Bloom, why must you bully me? <laughs> Put some music on it's weirdly quiet and i'm just talking about how it's fine to whack off good in moderation yes exactly it's healthy and it's good in moderation and that's how i know you're probably i'm gonna say not very old if you're under 18 please discontinue from this conversation but that's a child's approach <laughs> or someone who is asexual which is also acceptable if you're asexual that is fine too that is valid Are you like heavily Christian or asexual? I <laughs> don't care about sexual stuff. I find value in a girlfriend that just kills you in Fortnite. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I, de I feel like definitely um, for you, there's another side of the extreme is that if you are actually a sexual person and want a healthy relationship, you have to not be repressed in your sexuality, which may be the opposite. No interest. You have no interest in any sexual stuff with women either, because if s men or women, because that may is that leans towards ains asexual, and you don't have any sexual thoughts. There's a blue fucking G need on my skirt and screen. How dare you right now? Yeah, we're talking about how fapping is in moderation is healthy and fine, and you don't have to be ashamed. This is the life I live. Yes. <laughs> this is the life I live every day. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna get dabbed on so hard here. Hey, I have music somewhere. God. That's wrong. I'll just get Twitch chat approved. Just let me when I can. Well, I never. Not enough democracy. I'm so glad I have another baby spider. And having a high sex drive is torture. <laughs> God. Only not for democracy. Uh, that's why we will lose, because not enough democracy. <laughs> we need more democracy. Mm. But yeah, it's okay. Whatever, what's comfy is comfy, guys. And that is my only opinion with all that stuff. What comfy is comfy. <laughs> okay, there we go. We're done with the tawny.
GG. Well played. That was over fucking quick. <laughs> I tried my best, okay? It don't feel right because I could. Uh, I, I, I sudoku myself. Okay, my Adobe Premiere just came on. To the loony bin called Twitter 24 hours a day. Yeah, tournament is now officially done. We made it to the end for him. It's like we a did zoo, it. like a little no, SCP it was awkward at times. facility. I'm gonna treat her like a full on princess, carry passengers spoil. Evolution and inbreeding okay. has ever produced. And yet today, I watched a video that ah, left me stunned. The pro- the, what? The result of insult. inbreeding. I'm sure Love a lot it. of you have already seen this because it went viral earlier this week, so I'm definitely tardy to the party, but oh I'm God. just seeing it now. It's a drunk driver from Illinois. She killed two people and couldn't stop giggling about it and couldn't register that she wasn't going to be able to go to school the following day or get her car back. So that what the fuck? What a cunt and two. What do you mean you're gonna treat your next partner like a rat? There's body cam footage that has now just come out, even though my this wisdom. Took thank place you, last thank year. you. I'm she sure I will never get in trouble for this. for this, which I think is just not enough. I've been very vocal about my disdain for drunk drivers. I hate drunk drivers more than Garfield hates Mondays. It is a yeah. This is actually what I look like in real life. Act. Just it like is this. Selfish, dangerous, and there's no excuse <laughs> for it ever. Especially I'm in today's society, long hair. where there's Uber, Lyft, a taxi, calling a friend. You can easily find like, like I won't even drive when I'm tired for this exact everyone's reason. Everyone's life at risk on the road. And this lady killed two people while drunk driving. Just normal innocent people that did nothing wrong and not only did she kill them, she couldn't stop laughing about it, Wish just having a Twitch giggle fit like she was in a tickle fight. Once years ago, I was the coolest motherfucker ever says a move. And that's his uh, that's his My special uh, streamer mix hungry. Tape will get you going. She's reacting to a fatal accident like a child Politics reacts to a clown at a birthday party. Sober drivers, therefore drunk driving is safer. Excuse me, sounds like bullshit she was made up by a drunk person. Two people involved here died, and she truly just couldn't give less of a fuck about any of that. Oh, hey, you never answered me about my car. Like, I have school tomorrow, so how do I get my car? Here's my number. Well, your car is totaled. It's what? Your car is totaled. Toad, toad? Totaled, wrecked. So they conducted field sobriety tests, all of which she failed because obviously she what? is completely hammered. They then get to this point in the video where the officer and her are in the room, and she doesn't like the silence, so she says that she's going to start singing. So she starts flexing the golden pipes with some of the worst fucking singing you'll ever hear. It's oh not really singing, God. it's more like some kind of gregorian chant if it was being farted out of a walkie-talkie and she starts dancing like she's in some kind of trance but regardless she starts boogieing down and singing boogieing she's down. treating this whole situation like sing she's at fucking mardi gras angel. well you're about to like, hear like, them it's, sing it's like she's the celebrating that she sing. just killed two people as if it was some kind of fucking sacrifice and and she's happy about the whole situation it's not even that she's Jesus not Satanist, registering it, it. she actively doesn't care which is completely different yes she is beyond drunk clearly but she is aware of oh, what is yeah, happening. That doesn't mean they he don't has do told it. her multiple okay. times she understands why she's there and just actually doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait and see her reaction while sober. But yeah, yeah, put your dog in the animals on um, oh. Discord. I'll have a look. So, yeah, I don't go to school tomorrow. Is what you're telling me? You brain dead fucking worm. Obviously, you're not going to school tomorrow. You just killed two people in a drunk driving accident. This isn't GTA where you can just reset and undo people. what happened here. You took two people's lives away because you're a fucking ridiculously stupid idiot. Like, holy shit. And the only thing that she can even process is that this might be an inconvenience to her because she has school tomorrow and she doesn't want to miss class. Yeah, I can't believe no, this man. is an inconvenience to her. Let me be honest her. with you. What the you hell? go to jail, you don't have a bond, you kill two people tonight. I don't think you understand that. You do not have a bond, you are not getting out of jail. Which points? Your car is property of your school police department because it's a crime scene. It killed two people tonight. You are clueless with that, clearly. I've already explained this to you. You're going to jail for reckless homicide tonight. You're going to jail for aggravated DUI for killing two people. 
That's what's going on. So no, you're not going to school tomorrow. You're not getting your car out of impound. How this officer didn't in just house? stand up and flip a chair over uh, out of frustration oh, beyond me. Just oh, watching yeah. this had me want to flip a table like I had just yeah, lost a game of chess and got upset with him about than it. Me, for real. He just laid down all of the brass tacks here. Explained the situation for the fucking 50th time already. Oh. And once again, she still only cares about her standing, about being able to go to class. So then she says, well, what about Tuesday? You know, it, like, oh as if she God. thought she'd only spend, like, 24 hours in jail or something after killing two people. Like, okay, you know, I'll, I'll I, do I the time for the crime. I can't believe Convict's stupid that she's not high at the same time So or 24 something. hours, right? Uh, Tuesday I can get my car? Uh, we can just go ahead and magically put my car like, back together even after it's been told about my joint threat accident that took away what two people's lives. What about Tuesday, guys? Yeah, do we guys? have a Magneto on board who can fix my car up so that I can get the class on Tuesday? Did you just hear what I just told you? You said I'm not going tomorrow. I'm talking about Tuesday. Did you hear what I said you that said you... You said I'm going to jail tomorrow. Did you, you're going to jail right when we're down here? Yes. Did you understand what I told you that you killed two people tonight? Yes. Yeah, so I'm just wondering when I can go to school. Okay. We're done. Once again, she is hearing him loud and clear. She is acknowledging <laughs> that she is hearing that she is responsible What's for the death on? of yeah. two people. She yeah, just she's drunk. Care. I just never have seen someone this drunk who can sit up straight where they can't process things. But I, I don't know. I she feel like when I've been drinking, care. even if I'm she didn't know drinking them a lot, I process their, everything life fine. Life is meaningless to her. The only thing that matters is now it might be somewhat of an inconvenience because not she remember tomorrow. she might not be able to go to school tomorrow or even on Tuesday well. now. So now she's starting to get a little panicked because, oh, she's going to miss her fucking Tuesday night class. Not because she just killed two people. It's just she's going to miss her Tuesday night class. You're all on body camera being completely careless about killing two people tonight. You could care less. That's sad and pathetic and horrible all at the same time. Can you say that as a cop? Yes, ma'am, I can. Okay, so can I ask where I can go back to school? Uh, I'm not the oh officer on the scene God. here, but I can answer the question for you. 14 years, and you can go back to school. And hopefully, if you do go back to school in 14 years, everyone bullies the shit out of you and never lets you forget this moment oh, and shit. never lets and you forget what you did. I don't think Maybe. you should be able to go back to school in 14 years. I think that is way too lenient of a punishment for what it you've could done. Definitely I think be. the sentence should have been much longer here. But for I feel sure. like someone with any but kind of emotion, I, I even wasn't this the judge drunk, unless the they're case. high up their tits so on speed or something, would be like, up to me here. Would be I think like she is irredeemably at least upset stupid, for themselves. And I do think stupidity can reach a level where it is dangerous, like in a case like this where you become a danger to everyone around you because you are such an absolute bumbling fucking moron. Now, she was singing a bit of a different tune here, talking about how remorseful she was, saying she's sorry for everything and she'd never commit anything like that again, have it, hasn't drank since that day and doesn't plan on drinking ever again. However, the judge was implored yeah. to just impose the maximum 28-year penalty, which I do completely agree with. But Pardon unfortunately, me, she only received 14 years. I also find it very hard to believe that now she's starting to feel remorseful. Yeah, only I bet now she said that like a cunt that the, in real life. That she realizes she's not only going to when miss I was school a once had a girl, for that, those girl couple so of drunk, days, she's, she's going to miss school to for 14 years. I still don't believe cold. she has oh any God. level of remorse for the victims here. I, I truly don't. I understand she was drunk, but I used to get drunk a lot. And if you told me I so much the as pushed bitch. somebody and hurt them, I would have been inconsolably upset that I was responsible for yeah, something exactly. like that, even while fucking inebriated. Like, I, it's not like when you're drunk, all of a sudden you become a callous statue not how that can't every process person acts, but the, I think this person is definitely has no she acknowledged for others. multiple times that she understood but I do two think people, people who drink drive are generally she a bit just more still selfish, didn't care. for sure. She kept singing and dancing and just talking about school and how it might be an inconvenience to her. So I really do.